What's up guys, welcome to Snakes and Trails Season 2. My name is Tyler Carlson and today we're down here in Southeast New Mexico looking for the smooth green snake, which is a species I've never seen before. It should be a really cool trip and man, just check out how gorgeous it is here. guys so I caught my first snake of this little trip and it's this wandering garter snake these guys are pretty common um, and by pretty common I mean they're everywhere you can find them all over the place but this one's in shed you can tell because it has these, these blue eyes and I'll show you what that looks like um, but anyway cool first find I'm gonna go ahead and let it go and maybe we'll find some more snakes Alright guys, so one of the cool animals you can find down here in southeast New Mexico is sitting right here by this moss, but uh, I know you probably can't see him because he's so tiny. This is a Sacramento Mountain Salamander. They're one of the two species of lungless salamanders that exist in New Mexico. And this one's just beautiful. It's brown with really pretty copper bands. Not bands, but uh, speckling running down its back. It's a really cool find. So. I'm gonna go ahead and get some pictures of this guy and we'll let him go. I just want you to find me into the sky I'll fall but never crack Are you dreaming of love soon? Alright guys, so out here in southeast New Mexico, I found my next little critter. Check this out. It's a tiger salamander, Ambistoma tigranum. These guys are really, really cool. They're like a black color with yellow spots or bars, some people say. Um, but anyway, such a cool little salamander. It's really neat to be able to find two salamander species in one day. So I'll get some footage of this guy and go ahead and let him go. All right, guys. So even though I didn't get to see a smooth green snake, I did have a total, total blast of a time down in southeast New Mexico. And I got to see a couple of really, really cool salamander species. So that was really awesome. But this isn't salamanders and trails. This is snakes and trails. So I drove up on the way home to one of my favorite places to look for snakes, and I'm gonna do some road cruising and see what I can't show you. So, let's have a fun night. I know I didn't see the good between us, yeah. i tell you what, I've opened up my eyes and seen, I've opened up my eyes and seen the truth. All right guys, so we're having a pretty average night tonight, and by that I mean that we're finding all the usual suspects out here. So this right here is one of the first snakes that I found tonight. It's a prairie rattlesnake, Crotalus viridus. And uh, they are venomous, and they're also extremely, extremely moody. These snakes are one of the most aggressive snakes, and they're one of the only Crotalus species in New Mexico that actually make me genuinely nervous to be around. Um, that being said, he's being pretty calm right now. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and get some video for you guys and we'll let them go. All right guys, so another one of the snakes I'm seeing tonight are these line snakes. These guys are always just everywhere out here. I find them all the time. This one in particular is just huge. It's a monster um, for this species. So really uh, interesting find. Sometimes when I find them, I find the milk snakes the same night. But um, this has been a weird year for milks. I don't know why, I've only seen two. So anyway, I'll get some video of this guy and let him go. Are you dreaming of love soon? Or... All right, so another one of the common snakes I, saw, I find out here 
as you guys know, are these gopher snakes. So here's another one of them. Uh, a little bit of a younger one, maybe last year's baby. Um, kind of dark in pattern and a little bit feisty. Um, actually, he's calmed down quite a bit now that I've held on to him for a little bit. But anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and get some video for you guys and I'll let him go on his way. Then back again, then back again. All right guys, so I just got home. I didn't see any more snakes. I think the full moon really uh, just killed the snake activity, um, which is actually something that's kind of debated among the herping community uh, or the snake hunting community. So if you're out there and you have an opinion about whether or not the full moon affects road cruising, let me know, leave a comment down below. Anyway, but that's that. We'll see you next time on Snakes and Trails. Are you dreaming of love?